Yep, summer's over. A couple of days ago it got, uh, a couple of days ago actually it was really hot and really sunny and really hot. <laughs> Uncharacteristically hot. We broke some records uh, for Vancouver. Um, but now it's clouded over and it's really actually quite chilly and the leaves are turning orange, look, oh, and they're falling off the trees. <laughs> so I think summer's over. Oh, it's going to be a long wait until next summer. <laughs> Here comes the cold. Hey, uh, I just wanted to share something with you guys today. Um, it's not really fitness oriented. Uh, doesn't it's not really fitness oriented or weight loss oriented or exercise oriented, uh, but it is health oriented. So I, I, I wanted to share it with you because it's something that I've been experimenting with for myself for a couple of years now, and I've actually I'm actually seeing results. So I wanted to share it. Um, first of all, I'll tell you that um, I developed this theory in my own mind that uh, our skin can become reliant on the products we use on it um, and actually work to our detriment. So, and the reason for that, I mean, what, what was going on was I, I even though I'm over 40, <laughs> um, I still have really, really oily skin on my face. Um, and I don't, I don't know why. I, at this point in my life, I shouldn't have oily skin on my face. Um, and uh, the rest of my body, however, my skin's kind of dry sometimes um, in a way that didn't really make sense and under my eyes as well, quite dry. Um, so I started thinking about the products I was using and uh, I was washing my face with soap, which dried it out, which caused my face to make even more oil to fight against it. And I was putting skin cream on my skin, on my body, which was causing my skin to not need to manufacture its own oils, therefore it was going ahead and drying out and so I put more skin cream on and therefore I my skin wouldn't need to make, make its own oils therefore it would dry out therefore I'd need more skin cream and around and around I would go uh, and same with under my eyes I always felt like I had sort of a dry area under my eyes so I um I used to put cream there as well under my eyes and it just got drier and drier and drier and drier and the more dry I got the more cream I smashed on there you know trying to solve the problem so I thought, you know, I'm just going to put a stop to all this stuff. I stopped washing my face with soap. Uh, I, now I just wash it with moisturizer, and then I get that off my face. I wash it, I wash it on, and I wash it off, and I get it off. So I don't use soap on my face anymore. Guess what? My face isn't too oily anymore. Guess I'm not forcing my skin to manufacture excess amounts of oil to fight against all that soap I was putting on my face that was drying it out, and astringent and all this other stuff that I was using. Stop using it all. My face isn't too oily anymore. Uh, same thing with my body. I stopped putting skin cream on, uh, like moisturizer, and now suddenly I'm not dry all the time. Same with under here, under my eyes. Um, not dry all the time at all. Everything's normal. Everything's the way it should be. Um, and I think that's because I've stopped giving my skin a reason to not do its own work. To not, you know, didn't need to manufacture so much bloody oil on my face, so now I don't give it a reason to, and it doesn't. It didn't, uh, you know, it was becoming too reliant on all that moisturizer I was putting on my body, so it wasn't manufacturing its own oils. You know, I mean, I, I think that skin cream and, 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 and products like that can become like an addiction for your skin. Uh, it's like smoking, you know, you got to quit the addiction and then you stop having the results of the addiction. Um, the other thing, too, is I was reading the, in, the ingredients list on a lot of these products, and wow! There's a lot of chemicals in those, you know, um, and we do absorb stuff through our skin. Um, if you don't believe that, then think about the patch. How does the patch help people quit smoking? Well, you put this thing on your skin and you absorb nicotine through your skin and therefore it helps you with your craving for nicotine. So your skin really does absorb stuff and there's a lot of chemicals in a lot of these products out there that, that, that say they'll help, you, they'll moisturize your skin or they'll you know, you know, eliminate oils or whatever on your skin and help you with acne or whatever. But um, I think a lot of those things too are uh, formulated in a way that, that the marketers are smart, you know. They, they know that if you develop a reliance on their product that you'll buy more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Because um, in the moment, yes, your skin feels much more moisture while you're putting it on but then your skin becomes reliant on it and you need even more and more and more so you buy more and more and more and they sell you more and more and more and you spend more of your money and they get more of your money so um, around and around it goes right so um, I just wanted to share that with you these are all my only my opinions um, whether it would work for you or not I don't know um, 
but th this is this is my experience. So I've stopped using all this this these products. I really only just use a little bit of um, eye makeup on my face now. I don't put stuff all over my face anymore. Ugh. The ingredients to scare me. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Give it a shot. You know, I mean, if you find that you're like really, really, really dry skin all the time, stop using moisturizer. <laughs> I know it sounds radical, but guess what? I bet you that your skin will um, stop having the reliance. It, it, it'll probably take a couple of months for you to start noticing the difference. Um, but I'll bet that you, your skin has an addiction, and you'll start seeing differences if you actually stop using moisturizer. Your skin will start to produce its own oils, and you will find yourself feeling. Uh, not quite as dry without, you know, without using it uh, as you used to. Anyway, that's just my theories. I just wanted to share them um, because, again, for like putting on all these chemicals on our skin as well, I think that's fairly health related and very relevant for this site considering it's health related. So I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you're having a great, uh, great week and I guess we'll see you again soon. Take care.